Hello, 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 you guys. It's Relentless Renee, and I am here. Want to say hello. Um, if you have not liked, comment, or subscribed to this channel, I ask that you please consider doing so. You guys, I'm just sitting out here just enjoying this beautiful morning. Do you guys realize how grateful? we are how grateful we should be how thankful we should be because you know you're above and not below you know i'm just sitting here do you hear the beautiful birds singing do you hear that nature is just so beautiful you guys you know like i say you know we have so much to be thankful for to just be gracious for to just thank god for even if you are not listening to the birds chirp on this morning, the point is you are here. You are worth it. You are somebody. Continue to just strive to be the best somebody that you can be. No matter what negativity that comes into your life, no matter what someone tried to tell you, no matter who's bigger that's telling you that you're not, just know that you're your own individual, establish your own independence, and just know that God is almighty. He is greater than any human. He's greater than any problem that you may have. Just put your trust in him and just strive to be the best somebody that you can be. I mean, like I say, on this morning, you know, I have given God thanks. I have you know just allow him to work in my life um i ask him to deliver me from any you know ill wills any ill feelings any evil thoughts any demonic strongholds that are around me i just ask him to just do whatever it is he have for miss renee to do y'all like i say i i've been challenged and like I say, the God that I serve is so, so, so wonderful. So I'm here at the hospital. I already dropped my mom off. She already went upstairs. And I just thought that I would just sit here and do this video and just say, God, I thank you for the birds, the trees, the clouds, you know, the beautiful wind, air on this morning and the fresh breath that you've given me this morning. So, no matter what you're going through, just know that God is greater. No man can curse you. No man can just form any weapons towards you because God will bind them. He will bind them in the name of Jesus. Anything that somebody say to you, because I know the mind can be a terrible thing. But, one thing you cannot dispute and you can't take away is knowledge. You cannot take knowledge and education from no one so you extend your brain and open your you know Bible and just read and just know the Word of God for yourself now I had um, someone to tell me and I guess because I didn't agree with this person that they will have me walking backwards in the spirit but guess what I serve the same God you serve. And if you serve the same God I serve, then guess what? First of all, those words would have never came out of your mouth. And second of all, if we serve the same God, what God in heaven, Jesus of Nazareth, is going to allow you to even do such a thing to me? Because it'll never happen. It'll never happen. I declare and decree in the name of Jesus that it is so that I am a child of God and he gonna always have a halo around my head baby you may not see it but I see it and I feel it so I plead the blood of Jesus you know so like I say you know the word of God for yourself um, put your faith and your trust in God stop putting your faith and your trust in people because people will have you so bound that you don't know which way you're going. You know, and I had um, my ex-spiritual leader to tell me she would have me walking backwards in the spirit. But guess what, y'all? I put one foot in front of the other, and I keep going just like that. 
just like that and I'm still walking I'm still walking matter of fact I feel like I'm walking on cloud nine so like I say people like that will make it so hard for you to trust anybody it's already hard enough for me to trust anybody anyway but when it comes to your spiritual leaders or, or people in the church and stuff like that that can open up their mouth and tell you um, close your mouth or I will have you walking backwards in the spirit what do that sound like to you do that not sound like witchcraft do that not sound like hoodoo, voodoo, woodoo, koodoo, cock-a-doodoo, you know what I mean? Like, are you freaking kidding me? I know in the Bible there is a such thing as be aware because there are familiar and unfamiliar spirits. And there is a such, but there is a God that is greater. There is a God that I know that can do all things, and I do know that there is a certain power there is a type of power but you got to invest your time your mind your thoughts your body your soul into that type of crap for it to really work on your behalf but that's something that not me not Renee she can't do that she can't do that she can't do that as in me myself and I would never have a hand in something like that I would never tell somebody you can keep messing with me I have you walking backwards in the spirit because ain't no God gonna tell nobody especially when they're a spiritual leader that's gonna tell you they have you walking backwards in the spirit I, that don't sit well with me so just be your own person like I say if I can give advice to anyone, um, um, establish your own independence, um, establish your relationship with God, let him know what your desires are. You know, life is so beautiful. Life can be so wonderful. You just have to know the people that's in your circle, you know, just like what is that mr rogers neighborhood who are the people in your neighborhood in your neighborhood the people that you meet when you're walking down the street the people that you meet each day so if you meet somebody i don't care if they your neighbor if they're in your neighborhood if they're your co-worker if they're your spiritual leader if they're your enemy your friend your foe your fee whoever just know your surroundings. You can never ever be too careful because people are crazy. You got a lot of people who are supposed to be in the church, supposed to be of Christ, supposed to be holy, and they ain't worth two pennies rubbing together because that's all they want is your two pennies in their pockets. So just be careful like I say, somebody in my hometown just was poisoned by his girlfriend, you know, and he was laying beside the enemy every single night. And it's beyond me that people can really set out to do you harm. The sad part is, it's the people that's right there beside you that you possibly land with the enemy. It could be the people that's right there praying for you, praising for you, shouting for you, and you don't even know it. I have been in that situation. I have been in a situation where I didn't even know that my friend was an enemy. And I did everything for this person. Everything. And I, I had to learn the hard way. So I have my reasons of why I'm to myself. And I've had some um, things to come to light in the past few weeks that's going to make me be closer to God. Everything that has happened to me, I thank God that it has happened because it makes me seek Him even more. And when somebody say I can't do something, that gives me the adrenaline to really press to show you better than I can tell you. A lot of people think they know me, but you really don't. So... Y'all, I'm about to go up here and visit with my father. Um, so I'm going to end this video in...
prayer. Please encourage yourself on today. Love yourself on today. Encourage the next somebody. If you don't have anything nice to say at all, shut your mouth. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I touch and agree right now, Father, with each and every person, Father, that's holding their life to a standard, each and every person, Father, that want more of you, Father, each and every person that wants to be higher in their purpose, in their calling, I ask you right now um, to plead the blood over their lives, Father, I ask you to plead the blood over my lives, Father, I ask you to give me the words, Father, that are of you, Father, so I can be able to encourage the next individual, so I can be able to encourage, to guide the next individual, where I can be encouraged to guide myself, my family, my children, my husband, my parents. Father, help me to be the the standard that you call. Help me to love just like you would, Father. Help me to walk in my purpose boldly, Father. Help me to be able to counsel someone else along with myself to be a better individual, Father. Father, these are the things that I pray in your holy, precious Son name. Amen. 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 Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.